Hi Butterfly, it's Eva Lane from anxiousrelief.com and today I want to talk to you about a really simple con concept but also quite a complex concept and that concept is happiness and in particular what is happiness? Is it attainable? Is it attainable for you and is it possible to find true happiness in your life? The short answer to all of those questions is absolutely yes, but to fully explain it, we need to define what happiness is and then define how to get it. So for the purposes of this blog today, I'm going to define happiness as a long-term feeling of contentment and overall satisfaction with life in general. That can bring with it short-term cheerfulness, but it can also bring ups and downs over life. Um, but it gives you the resilience that you need to deal with those ups and downs in your life. So I'm not talking about short-term joy, although joy is a byproduct of true happiness. I'm talking about happiness as a long-term overall satisfaction with life. So let's get, in, let's get into how to achieve it. Step one involves understanding that we as humans are living in a state of constant reaction to the world around us. Now what does that mean? There is a universal law that every action has an equal and opposite reaction. So let's take for example a bad day. You get out of bed, you step on one of the kids Legos and immediately you know it's going to be a bad day. That right there is a complete and utter reaction. A natural reaction because stepping on Legos hurts like hell as a mum of boys. Trust me on that one. However, the belief that comes to the surface after you've stepped on the Lego is I'm going to have a bad day. And that is a reaction to something that's happened to you. Reactions are normal. We, we do that. Like there's no getting away from reacting. Like you, you need to react in life. But if there's a difference between reacting and living a life of reaction. So what do I mean by that? When you live a life of reaction, you spend your time just bouncing around from one reaction to another. And it's like, you know that you're in a life of reaction when shit just keeps happening to you. And I see it on Facebook all the time. People are like, when is my bad luck going to end? Or the shit just keeps happening. This happens again and again and again. And writing a status update on Facebook about it is the ultimate reaction. I see people listing out all the bad things that have happened to them. And what that does is it grows the reaction and it increases the chaos. And it just means that you keep bouncing around reaction, 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 reaction. And the signal that you send out is misaligned with what you want. And of course, every action has an equal and opposite reaction. So the universe is going to respond to your reaction with a reaction. And it's like an echo of chaos. It just bounces around and around and around and around. And... The only way to break that cycle of constant reactive chaos is to become conscious of the fact that you're in that pattern and then take steps to break that pattern. So that's the first step. Stop reacting. And you stop reacting simply by becoming conscious of the fact that you are reacting and then as stuff keeps happening to you, instead of reacting to it, you take some space before your reaction and you just consciously process, all right, what's happened to me? This 
bad luck is happening because of a misaligned signal. So what I need to do to fix this run of bad luck is to realign my signal, send it back out there again. So you just do that by taking some space, a few seconds before the reaction or after your reaction, if it's an immediate thing, if you've stepped on Legos and you're going to swear your head off about it. Um, you just, after that happens, you just take some time just to think, all right, stepped on Legos, swore my head off. Now I'm going to take a moment to take some space. Uh, I'm going to realign my signal and today will be a good day from here on in. Number two, to truly realign your signal, get grounded in yourself. Um, grounding is such an important thing, especially when you've been stuck in a reactive echo, a misalignment of chaos. Stuff happens, so you react to it, it goes off everywhere, boing, 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 boing. You've got no control over the chaos. And the way to get your control back is to simply in the space that you have, align your energy and get grounded. So what that involves is quietening all of that angry, chaotic energy, bringing yourself into alignment and bringing yourself down into your body. And then once you've brought your energy down into your body, bring it down into your feet and then I like to imagine tree roots growing out of the soles of my feet and going down into the core of the earth to connect with the very, very center of the planet. I have a free MP3 energy healing guided meditation that will talk you through the steps of how to ground your energy and calm your energy and quieten your energy to realign your vibration and your signal over on my website. So I'll put the link to that underneath this video. So step three, after you've grounded your energy, is to get clear on what you want that signal, that new signal to be. So you do that by knowing yourself and by knowing what your values are and what you stand for and what you stand against as well. Really knowing what's important to you, yourself, as an individual, is vitally, vitally important to overcoming anxiety and attaining more long-term happiness in your life. So for many people, their family is important to them, their friends are important to them, their work is important to them, our hobbies or uh, political interests or causes or volunteering or a veggie patch or you know it can be any number of things that can mean a real lot to you and what you need to do is align yourself and become consciously aware that those are what your values are and then you start living your life in alignment with those values and what that means is if something is in your life that is in a is it is a direct contradiction to those values get rid of them just just get them out of your life and you don't need to hold any guilt about that because all you're doing is putting yourself first and acting in alignment with your values and doing that is what long term will bring sustained happiness to you in your life it absolutely will i've done this myself i've moved from living in a life of constant reaction, which is what anxiety is. Anxiety is a reaction. It's a reactive mechanism. It uh, is when you live your life in constant fear and it's that primal fear, it's that bodily fear um, that, that happens when you are generally out of alignment. The way to get yourself into alignment is to ground yourself and to know what your values are and then you attain happiness and get more happiness, sending those aligned signals out there by acting in alignment with your values. And that's as easy as it gets. It truly is so simple to implement in your life. 
not easy necessarily. There are probably some tweaks that you need to do that will be quite challenging for you, but so well worth it. So I do urge you, Butterfly, go over to anxiousrelief.com, ground my, uh, down, ground, download my grounding um, energy healing guided meditation. I'll put the link to it under this video and go forth and be happy in your life. Love and light.